right, so we have Jack loaned Bob $1,500 at an annual interest rate of 7%. After one year, how much will Bob owe Jack? So, in this one, for this one, from looking at the answers, I can tell you that I won't actually have to do any math to do, to figure out the answer for this one. I can tell you right off the bat, it would be 1605C because A, A, they're asking how much would Bob owe Jack after one year. If he originally took out a loan for $1,500 and charging interest, interest is basically the amount on top of whatever it is that you're borrowing. So, it's basically like asking, saying, hey, can you give me this money? And someone's like, yeah, I'll give you the money as long as I'm not just going to give you the money and you give me that amount of money back. Interest is, I'll give you the money if you're going to give me more than what I, I gave you originally. So he's saying that I'm going to give you $1,500 if you pay me back that $1,500 plus 7% of that $1,500. Okay, $1,500 plus whatever 7% is. So whatever the amount is, it's going to have to be more than that $1,500. So the amount can't be $105 because that's less than what he's borrowing in the first place. And it can't be $1,500 because that's the amount that he's borrowing in the first place. So if it's the amount plus 7%, it's going to be more than $1,500. So you cross that one out. And $1,507, I know that 7%, $7, 1507 is only $7 more than the original amount. So $7, 7%, that 7%, that would have to mean that the loan would be $100. Cause 7% of 100 would be $7, so that would be an extra $7. But since the loan is for a lot more than that, it's for $1,500, not just $100, the 7% of that would have to be more than $7. So I know it's not D either. So that's why I'm saying I know that the answer is C already, but I'll show you the math to figure out how to do that if you didn't catch on to those little options there. So to figure out the answer to this, you'd have the $1,500, and you multiply that by 7%. And we have a percentile, in order to make that into a decimal, you have to move the decimal place two places to the left. So if you have 7%, and the number seven, the decimal place is right after that number. So in order to make that a percentage, you have to move the decimal place two places to the left. One, two, and the decimal place there, you have to put another zero as a placeholder there. So 0 0.07 is the same thing as 7%. 7% plus 7%. So to find an interest, of something, you take whatever the amount is and you multiply it by that decimal. So for our case, we have $1,500, like I said, and we're going to multiply that by 0 0.07, because that's the 7%. And 7 times 0 is 0, 7 times 0 is 0, 7 times 5 is 35. So the 3, 7 times 1 is 7 plus the 3 is 10, and we have a 0 here, so we don't really have to do anything for that. Now, in the numbers that we're multiplying, you see that we have a decimal place here, and it's not there, but if there was one, the decimal place would be there. there. So we have two numbers behind the decimal place in our factors. This is one factor, 1500 is the other factor. So in our answer, we have to have two numbers behind the decimal place. So we have one, two. So there, my answer is 7% of 1500 is $105.
and you take the original loan, which is $1,500, and you add on the 7% interest, which is $105, and you get 5 plus 0 is 5, those are zero zeros, 5 plus 1 is 6, and you know nothing here, so let's bring down the 1, and that is $1,605. Like I said in the beginning, is answer C. And that's how you figure that one out. Alright, be sure to subscribe, like, share this video if you find it helpful. And um, leave a comment down below if you find it helpful too. Alright, I'll see you in the next video.